Hi guys, I'm back and my voice is kind of here, so we'll see how well we do. I am going to take this one page sketch, this one right here, and turn it into two pages and it will have an opportunity and I'm going to put 21 different pictures on it. So let's get going. I'll show you the first thing that I'm going to do. The first thing that I did, of course, was I am using um, Deck the Palms scrapbooking um, paper pack. Uh, the, the coordinating cardstock, which I'll show you, is available, but I do have some of this Deck the Palms if you are interested. This is retired raspberry cardstock, which of course I have. I have gutted it. And the next thing that I'm going to do is I am going to prep my um, white daisy cardstock. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to use my mess mat, which I already have out, and I am going to splatter. And I'm doing this first because um, I want it to dry and I'm adding some other fun things um, to this as well. So what I'm going to splatter with is my favorite thing to splatter um, with is it's this um, gloss, medium gloss spray and it's turquoise. And the turquoise looks nice. The, the colors that are in the um, paper pack that I'm using um, coordinate nicely and it has lagoon in there so lagoon and turquoise are kind of the same so I'm going to get out my splatter box and I'm going to put it in there and um, some you could if you did not have this you could use um, the shimmer you could use a shimmer brush which I don't have a lot of luck with a shimmer brush to be quite honest um, I did so I gutted my paper um, and that was uh, a 12 by 12 raspberry and then I'm using this white colonial and I have um, cut it down to 11 by 11. I'm using this gloss spray but like I said you could use shimmer brush. Another thing that you could use is um, we the watercolor paints. I've used those a lot. If I use watercolor paints I tend to want to use watercolor paper which I have both those things. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to shake this up. You can spray it, but um, I like um, having a little bit more control with that. And when I'm looking at my original paper, um, I'm going to have pictures over here. I'm going to have some open space right here. I'll have open space down here and down here. So I'm going to concentrate my splatter on those areas. and. Um, how I'm going to do this is I've, I've got this paintbrush, but I'm going to use it just to help me with, make my splatter. So I am just taking it out of here. It's going to have paint, and I'm just going to splatter. It's very light, so I know I've got some up at the top. I don't care if they're big blobs, although the big blobs will take you longer to um, dry. So my other paper, I'm trying to think of where else my paper is going to be. And I'm making this a two-page page, page, page because I'm actually, except for one picture, which I'll, I might add on a flip-flop later when I put their whole um, holiday, their whole vacation album together, um, I'm basically making their whole trip on one layout with 21 pictures. And I like the idea of doing that because, um, let's face it, there, there are a lot of layouts. So I'm going to set this off to dry, and I'm going to show you, oops, well, I just splattered that, but so I'll make sure that uh, my paintbrush kind of messed that one up. So I'm going to show you what I did with this page without trying to reveal. Um, I do try to keep the privacy of these little kids faces but sometimes they just show up so okay so what I did with this was I used my crocodile um, and I've, I've showed you how to do this this I these brads were actually from I bought them from Costco um, that was during 
uh, scrapbooking's heyday where you could fi literally find scrapbook supplies anywhere. And I made six of these and I printed off my two by two pictures with my, um, my uh, Epson and um, they turned out really cute. And I, um, at first I was putting them on the back of the paper, but then um, I just took the pi the pictures, you can't see your face, um, I took the pictures and just um, decided I would go ahead and make those the tags. And I, I kind of like that. So back to my inspiration piece, which I seem to have buried. I'll show you that again. So this is what I'm doing. So in the middle, and I'll show you what I, I will show you how I added. So this is how I splattered, and I'm I'm moving this over because I was going to center it, but then the tags overlapped too much on the pictures because I have bigger pictures. I use bigger pictures than they called for. I think in this picture it looks like it might be a three by four, but putting a three by four picture on an entire sheet, um, I thought well. Um, I don't have enough room to do that. So this is the splatter when it dries. So this is exactly what I did before. This is the splatter before. And I this was, I just added, um, I used a Tim Holtz. Um, uh, and, and I used a Tim Holtz. I used this. I got this at a garage sale. I love this. I have several. If you have close to my heart, you will have um, a stencil that looks very similar to this, but I, I had this one at a garage sale and I liked the big dots because it really does mimic the paper that I use. So isn't that a great match? So I decided I'd just go ahead and go with that. Um, this, the cardstock is rosy. I mean, the cardstock is raspberry, but I used the rosy ink because when you stencil, it comes out a little bit lighter. And so I really like the way it looked. So I'll show you how I put that together. So the first thing is I have a four by six picture. And um, what how I stenciled this was I, I placed everything first and then I um, kind of moved it off. And I want to show you that I did tear the paper. I tore the paper at the top. I could, um, if, if you wanted to bring the color in, you can always um, go ahead and do a direct paper, which I think I'll go ahead and do. So I'm going to add a little bit of direct paper to that ink. So remember, when you tear towards you, the white core is going to show. This is, um, I do have several packs of this paper. It is, um, I, I think it looks like Florida, and that's where they were at. So it's Florida on one side, and then it is Christmas trees, so it's kind of like a uh, tropical Christmas. So according to the, my chart, according to my chart, so I'm going to move this to the side instead of having this because remember I said I had to have more room for my tags. So I'm moving it in like this and I'm going to go ahead and tape this down at the edge. And so it's down a half, my paper is down a half an inch. And I gutted both sides because you'll. Um, I was going to um, back my paper, but then I decided, wow, that's a lot of that's a lot of paper going on there. So, um, and I'm just going to run my over here, and I don't even care that it gets a little on the versa mat because that kind of holds my. I'm adding a lot of stuff to this layout, so that'll keep it from sliding around. All right, so that is lined up there, and then I'm going to line this up. It's going to be a half an inch down. Half inch down. And it's right on there. That's a little closer than I like to cut it, but it's all good. Okay, and then I stenciled the dots. You can see the different places kind of at the corner. And I, because when I make a two page, um, I try to make them kind of consistent. So I will put elements on one and the other. So we'll be adding these stencil dots to the other page. So without 
revealing my beautiful people that don't belong to me. I'm going to, now this piece of paper that I tore, it is um, five and a half by seven. And I'm going to put it underneath like this. And I'm putting it, I'm, I'm, tr I'm trying to um, level that up a little bit and I am going to place things. So these are kind of off to the angle. They kind of um, set like that. And if it's too long, I will just, I'm going to tear, I'm going to tear towards me. That's going to reveal that white core. I'm tearing towards me. I just think that because it's mixed media, the tearing adds a little something, something to it. So I'm going to add that like that. That looks good. And then I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm tearing towards me. I find it very therapeutic to tear paper. It's kind of like fussy cutting. Um, this was one I could have spent another three days on this, but um, since I'm officially one week behind, I thought, okay. Enough is enough. Okay, so now I'm going to add my my little tags. So on the layout, they have smaller tags, and I tried different sizes. I tried really big tags, and I just decided um, I like the smaller ones better. And then there was these little tiny. the The pictures weren't in great view. I mean, but they they did show the beach. So I think it does show the shoreline, so that was kind of fun. So I just added that on there like that. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball this. And so on one side, I have all the beach pictures of Panama City. And I'm going to kind of put those down in a, in a pleasing design. So it's so great because you can get all of these pictures. So I've basically added eight pictures like this one it it's not really in focus but it shows up here so um, people say well and, and I did that um, on my um, that I did that through project life if you don't print your own pictures you can put them on a four by six and get all of these okay I like this I'm going to glue it down I also have the title hopefully I have it there you know I always bury or lose something along the way as I'm, I'm going along so I might add that as I as I find them and un, 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 um, um, dig them out. So here we go. We're going to just glue all this stuff down. Um, and so for those of you who do the weekly challenge, I hope you'll go back and look at some of these and be inspired. I always do a, a weekly challenge with my Facebook group, um, which is, um, so my Facebook group is also called Scrapping in My Own, Joy Ani Scrapping in My Own Private Idaho. So if you want to join that group, that would be great. I do have weekly challenges. <laughs> I forgot to draw them last week. Nobody put in for one and so I, I think it's, I was coming down to what with, down with whatever this is that I have. I don't recommend getting this um, bug. It has not been fun. So I'm going to just slide all this over. And I'm going to put this this way. I, um, so, yeah, so I was actually gone two weeks and not two weeks, two days. No, that would be something. So now I am on spring break. So I'm hoping to do two picture, two, um, since I'm officially one week behind, I'm hoping that, uh, sorry, I gotta dump these off and you might get a sneak peek at the, oh shoot. Um, the one thing about my picture mate picture thing, I feel like um, they, the pictures are sticky, so I can't really even put anything on them. 
So I'm going to go ahead and glue these down. Um, I thought about adding flowers. Oh shoot. This is what I'm going to talk about. It's like, oh, oh, oh good. It was, it was on this. I have put things down and the tape has run my pictures before. I feel like the picture mate, it's like the pictures when I print them are stickier. Does that make sense? Okay, so I'm gonna, but I love, I love doing all these. I'm getting so many pictures done. And just think about doing a whole trip on one, um, on one thing, on one layout. Okay, I'm going to ramble on. Normally these um, videos aren't that long, but I did want to show you a few things that I did. So, and on the um, inspiration sheet, <laughs> this mess mat really likes to hang on to things. I will fuss around. I always do a what do you call it? A after I've done it, pick after I've done it. Um, pictures like if you start the videos, then that's what they finally came up with. And I will mess with these a little bit because they're not they're not the way I wanted. But I don't want to I don't want to sit and fuss forever with with these. But you get the you get the gist. The the tags are falling down and they're on there and the okay so one two three four five six oh that's because two four six yeah I will fuss around with these a little bit more and then there my title goes right here which says Florida um, and that we'll dig that one out okay so the next page let's go on to the next page so what I did to make this a two-page page, two page layout was, once again, I gutted it. And I took, um, I took the pictures, and I'll cover up some of them, yes. Okay. Oops. I guess I need the white sheet. So on this white sheet, I am going to, once again make this one half to, to the side and, and and it's gonna go like this and I'm gonna tape I'm gonna tape it down and then I'm going to place this and then I'll show you how I did stenciling. I love stenciling um, I even when I use pattern paper so the paper in this particular um, paper pack is pretty wild I mean it's well it's tropical and um, so when I use tropical ones, I use, or when I use a large print, I tend to um, really do a lot of um, having adding some plainness to it, so to speak. So I'm going to put this at one and a half, and you can see that I have torn the edges right here. I'm going to tear that again. I'm tearing at the top, and I'm tearing towards me. I find tearing very therapeutic, mainly because it's not, doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm just tearing along up at the top here. Okay. And then I'm going to put it right here. So I'm kind of putting it halfway through, halfway, and I want it to, so when it's, because it's a, a two-pager, I'll move this one over so that it should have, the, for the continuity, I kind of want to center that one to this one, and I think that looks good. I am going to have a title right here, so I'm not worried about that at all. So I like where that one's going, and it will come up a little bit because I'll show you what I'm going to do next. So before I put that one down, so see how these are at an angle? I had to make sure it's at the right one. I am, I want it angled. So I want it to angle this way, and so I cut this piece of paper is one and one half by eight, and my pictures are one and a half by. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. Okay, so 
it's a little bit longer and I don't care because I want it to have that kind of chevron look. So I'm going to tape on the bottom like this. And I'm starting at the bottom. See how I'm going to go like that. And when I get this, I'm just going to hack off this end and make this even. Because I'm trying to mimic this look. I'm trying to give it the same look as this. So, uh, uh, only on the bottom. So, I'm going to do the same thing where I am having this just peek out a little bit. And then it's going to go up. And then I'm going to hack it. Well, I guess I did it this way, didn't I? It's easier if I, I cut them off at the same end. So just a little bit, and then I'm going to hack that off. That's my own invention. I don't know what they call it, but it's called trying to make things look like they were supposed to be a two-page. So, okay. So this one, starting a little bit of... I have to think about this. Yes. Okay. And then I'm just going to level it off like this. I'm going to cut straight. All right. Uh, that's kind of a funny thing to say. Cut straight. If you know me, you know I don't cut straight. And I'm going to put that right there. Okay. I like that. It gives the same kind of. It gives you the same kind of look. So remember. Um, I've done the blue, so I am going to go ahead and add my stencils to anywhere that I think some things might shine through. So, my favorite thing, my favorite one is I like to pounce. Um, if I am blending, I use these bushes. But, but with stenciling, I'm not really stenciling. I'm not blending. I'm more pouncing. So, I'm just going to move that picture off because... I don't want to pink up my poor son-in-law's face. So, um, well, I'll have to show you. So, um, he is a great picture taker. I mean, for, for a scrapbooker. Um, he um, took this picture. I'll have to show you this one. So, look at this little tag. So, it has the date that they left, and it even has the spot that they left from. So they left from here, and they went to here, I believe. Um, well, well, one of those spots. Or they went from, that might have got caught up. I might have to repair this. But um, they left at 9.05 from Texas, I believe. And they flew to Florida and got there at 9.10. So that was just kind of just a fun little, little picture. Now, I am going, I want to put a little... Uh, stenciling on this corner and I don't want to make a mess so and I want it to go off so I just grabbed my I'm putting a little here I'm trying to make my triangle when I think about my triangles I do try to do them you know, you know for your so you, for, so it to be visually appealing you always want to do a triangle I'm gonna set this under here and this is why all my okay I'm gonna put that right there and it's just going to go off a little. I don't want to put it on the raspberry. So that's just a little bit. And I might put, I'm, going to, I'm just going to add a few, a little bit right here. I got, um, what's nice is you just move the pictures and I'll stencil under the pictures. And that way it gives that more natural kind of going up to it. And I'll put some, ooh. Oh, good. Oh, I thought that was, I thought I stenciled that. I thought I stenciled the crooked. Okay, and then I'm going to stencil down here. And even though this is a different color, I think it works really, really well. So I'm going to slide this one on here like this. And you didn't like, um, so you could, if you don't like that um, to be angled like that, you could definitely put it straight. Okay, so now I've added my others, and now I'm just going to add my little, 
and my little pictures and all my little different things that they did. Um, what's the nice thing is when you take these small pictures, here's like a schedule of what they did. So that's my son-in-law. He takes a schedule of, of the different things that they did. And we'll just put the little, little tags like that down. And this is a finished layout. So it looks like it went fast, but honestly, this thing took me forever because I was, it was mainly picking the pictures. So I will add the title that I have somewhere that's buried, and I will take still shots. Um, you could, if you'd like to see those, you could pop over to um, Scrap Joy Ani Scrapping in my own private Idaho um, Facebook group, and I do have pictures of available paper packs that I have. Um, that are retired on in that on that page as well. If you like like this, please like and subscribe and we will talk to you later really soon. I'll give still pictures. The still picture will be when you see this video, it will have the still picture of the finished um, layout. So talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.